guys, Michael Stillwell here from the Piano Technician Academy, and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between tuning, regulating, and voicing. So I own a piano store, and I uh, work in it sometimes. I mainly work for PTA, but I do work in the store from time to time. Um, and I do what's called uh, internet sales. So I mainly focus on talking to customers who are buying pianos that they've never seen before. So they buy the piano and it gets delivered out there. And the question that I get asked a lot is, the piano sounds tinny or it sounds too warm. Will the tuner adjust that in the tuning? And it's a common misconception that tuning is the same thing as voicing and regulating. Tuning is just referring to literally changing the pitch of the string. So all we're doing when we're tuning is putting a tuning hammer on the tuning pin and turning it. And we're adjusting the pitch of that string. We're not adjusting how the hammer hits the string, how it feels when you press the key, how the sound, uh, the, the texture of the note, we're just adjusting the pitch. And that's what tuning is. The other thing we're talking about is voicing. And voicing has to do with when a piano sounds bright or warm or there's a zing or it sounds muffled. And what that is, is we're adjusting the hammer itself most of the time. There's voicing techniques that involve moving the hammer to different strike points um, and things like that. But right now, the main focus is adjusting the hammer itself. So if you look really closely at a nice hammer, a higher end hammer like this, this is a Renner Blue Point, we can see there's this long strands of wool felt that go all the way around. And there's just these layers. And on the sides here, they're T-stapled. So if I were to take a blade and slice this hammer, the hammer would instantly just open right up. And the idea is, is the more that this is played, the more that this is hitting the string and becoming compressed and compressed and compressed, we as technicians are able to use a tool with little needles on it, jam it into the hammer itself in certain spots in between the layers and open up the fibers of the felt itself, which will make the piano uh, sound a little bit more warm and soft. Um, and that's, what's, that's just a part of voicing. Another thing we do is we'll, we'll um, shave the hammers down or file the hammers down, and that's called shaping. We have to have a perfect shape here. If the hammer is too flat, a lot of times when it hits the string, it'll almost mute it. But that'll change the way that the texture of the note. Um, and then also other times, the hammers not only get hard, sometimes they get too soft. So we'll do different things to harden the felt. Um, that can range from putting a solution inside the hammer itself, or literally we put in a hot iron on top of the hammer, which will just, you know, imagine heating up felt. It makes it compressed and harder. But there's a ton of different ways. We also steam hammers, but that's voicing. A lot different from tuning. Now the next thing, and these, by the way, these are voicing tools. So these are just kind of tools that we use to jam in between the felt. These is, one of them is a four-prong, the other one's a tri-prong. Tri prong um, and then we have some that are even single prong or um, some that are what we call sugar pickers which are very very short needles that don't go very deep into the felt um, itself so we covered tuning and voicing now let's talk about regulating regulating is adjusting the action itself so we're actually going to be adjusting how the keys feel whether they're uh, heavy or light for the player and then as a technician we go way more into depth about what that means as far as let off drop aftertouch um, that sort of thing and that's basically adjusting all of these friction points our center pins as well as on these springs adjusting measurements um, and making sure that everything is lined up properly to itself for example the biggest thing in my opinion is always making sure your knuckle is lining up properly with your jack in a um, in a grand piano, and same thing on an upright piano, you want your jack to be able to kick out from under your hammer butt properly and get reset underneath there as well. So that's what regulation is. So if you have a piano that you say, oh, it's really heavy, will the tuner fix that when they're tuning the piano? No, the tuner is going to tune the piano. And you can pay them extra and talk to them about regulating the piano as well or voicing the piano, but that's a totally different uh, service altogether. So a lot of times tuners will charge a set price for a tuning and then they'll charge an hourly price for voicing or regulation. And if they're going to regulate the whole piano, a lot of times they'll give you one set price for the entire project. But if you're just if they're going out there and just doing minor tweaks in your home, usually it's hourly.
But hopefully this kind of clears everything up for you guys. If you have any questions about piano technology at all, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome piano-related videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.